Morning, Cal. That was your first start for five weeks or so at uh, Grimsby on Saturday. How did you find it? Yeah, um, it's probably felt longer than that, to be honest. I think it's been 11 weeks since I played over 45 minutes. I was looking yesterday, so it is a long time. Uh, it was good to be back out there. Obviously, wasn't I'm not fully match fit, match sharp, but it was. I think that would have done me the world of good to get out there after quite a tough few months for me, but obviously back-to-back -back injuries. Um, but yeah, there's obviously only five games left now, so I've just got to brush brush off the cobwebs as quick as I can and and get back in and and, and get back to sort of how I was f when I first came. I was sort of match fit, match sharp. But when I came straight in, obviously there was uh, I played a couple of games straight away and then got got the first injury and then it was a bit stop start from there. But yeah, it's good to be back now. How do you feel physically? Yeah, I feel good now, um, but I felt good when I got injured and. Obviously, match match fitness is massive, and you you can't really replicate it in training as much as you you try to that sharpness and fitness. Um, but even when I come back from the groin, I felt really good, and then in my first start, obviously uh, did did my calf. So it's hard to know when <laughs> I felt really good when I got injured, um, but I feel good now, and 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 I think that will have done me the world of good. Um, the 90 minutes on Saturday and hopefully I can I can kick on now and, and get back to, to how I was sort of 11 weeks ago, which is a long time ago. Just how does it affect your game, your performance, when you're not quite, as you say, match fit? Yeah, I think it does. I think it's, like I said, it's, it's just trying to replicate it in training and 11 weeks is a long time. I've obviously had the game in between that start against Wimbledon when I come off injured. Um, but it is a long time and you've just got to do everything you can to try and replicate in training and in, in the gym to, to get as close as you can to that sort of match sharpness, really, I'd say, and fitness. Because I am quite, quite fit naturally, I'd say. Um, but the only thing that you can do is play games. And obviously I've got that one out the way now and I've got through that. But it's sort of the business end of the season now. There's five games left. There's there's no room for, for rustiness, for, for tiredness. It's sort of... That's that's gone now. That's behind me. Head down, full throttle, and 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 do everything we can to to sort of get over that line. When you're not quite at a hundred percent, as as you're not, do you have to adapt your game in any way? I think I think I just you just feel a little bit limited. Possibly, I am I, I am a hundred percent. You just not you feel, you feel hundred percent. You just don't feel like you've got that extra bit that maybe you do have if you'd played sort of ten games on the spin. Um, you, you, you just it's hard to describe really maybe I'd say probably limited is the way I'd describe it um, but I think once the first one is out the way it's going to be easier from then on because you've got that base to sort of that 90 minutes base that you've already got under your belt and you've just got to do everything you can to, to, to be at your best